what we're raising now is is a parallel question to the question of truth. It's the question of the existence of the concepts of right and wrong and defining them. And if you've got no transcendent uh, reference point, you end up with Dostoevsky rightly saying, if God does not exist, then everything is permissible. He didn't mean that atheists couldn't behave. Of course they can. But he meant there's no rational justification for distinguishing uh, between right and wrong. And we've got to face that. On the question of lying, it's very interesting to me that the whole condition humaine arose from the lie originally. You shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And you were talking about people thinking, why shouldn't I lie and so on? Well, of course, one of the arguments is that people who take that view, if you lie to them and accuse them of something they don't believe to be true, for instance, accuse them of murder or theft or something like that, you'll soon see that they believe in truth and they want the truth about themselves to be known. So it's entirely inconsistent. Uh, Of course, it's up to them to take that view if they want to, but it's not one of those things that follows one of your rules of life that you want to be able to apply to others what you apply to yourself.